iPad Pro is becoming more and more of a tool creative professionals are relying on. They want to buy it for LumaFusion and Photo Affinity and Procreate. It's just an awesome tablet for, once again, creative purposes. But if you know anything about, you know, editing photos and video, um, doing so takes up a tremendous amount of storage, which would, you know, warrant you buying a more expensive, higher capacity iPad Pro, which is something a lot of us can't do. And that was me when I bought my iPad Pro 11 back in July when I was basically broke. I bought a 64 gig 11 inch one and if i want to do anything serious with it i have only one option and that is to opt for an external storage solution so today i'm going to be showing you how you can use external storage with your ipad pro talking about the pros and the cons giving you a demo and just kind of showing you my overall experience doing so but before we continue here i'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video comment if you have any questions suggestions or opinions as the algorithm likes that and we'll help push my content to more people so luckily I already have an external SSD on hand. I have a Samsung portable SSD, a T5 variant with 500 gigs of storage. And this is honestly the best external SSD you can buy on the market. It's highly rated and very reliable. And I actually have a two terabyte one that I have connected to my iMac 5K, which I rely on every day to edit my videos. The one that you're watching right now, for example. But no, there are a ton of other alternatives on the market. And if you find something cheaper that fits your needs, then obviously buy that. So the nice part about this SSD is that you can actually connect it directly to your iPad Pro via a USB type C to USB type C cable, but that's not what I want to do today because if you are taking photos or videos, you're going to have an SD card off of your camera likely. So I'm going to plug it into this adapter that I have here. And I'm also going to plug in the SSD um, with a USB type C to USB type A cable. So the USB type C end goes into here. And then I'm going to plug it into the USB type A port right here and just have the SSD chilling over here so you can still see it in the frame. All right. So now that we have the SSD connected, let's jump into the files app here, which has been enhanced with iPad OS as we know. So so looking on the sidebar here, we have my SD card pop-up and my SSD pop-up. And I already have a folder on here, but I'll kind of explain what I've been doing with it. First up, let's demo copying some files off of an SD card like photos and videos onto external storage. So let's jump onto my 128 gig SAN disk here, and then we're going to go into this private folder in order to get my clips. I don't know why Sony does this, but here we go. Let's copy some 4K clips over here. So one, two, three, four, let's just say. And then we're gonna press the move button here. And then if we scroll down, we'll get to my Herman SSD here. And I've already made a folder called footage external. So let's tap that folder and click copy. And let's go back to the SSD here and see what we've done so far. It's still copying over. So it took about 20 to 30 seconds to copy more than a gig worth of 4K footage from my SD card all the way over to my SSD, which was pretty impressive. And let's play some back here real quick just to see how smooth it is. And of course it's going to be very smooth because this is after all an SSD. It has a lot of bandwidth. So now that we've done that, let's see how we can access this external storage in creative settings. So let's pop open LumaFusion really quick here and open up a project I was working on a couple months back. Here we go, this is for another video that I was doing. And automatically I'm seeing add link to folder. So let's press this right here. And as you can see, I already selected this. This is my external storage here. And let's tap on the footage external folder and press done. So now that we've done that, let's press this folder really quick. And as you can see, we are looking at the external files here. These are not located on my iPad, which is a really cool. And let's drag one in. So we'll drag this right here and it'll take a minute to copy over. So as you can see here, I have successfully copied or imported this 4K clip. It is playing perfectly, but it was copied from my SSD to the internal storage on my iPad, which is one of the downsides that I'm gonna talk about a bit later in this video. So what this means is if you're gonna be editing video with LumaFusion, for right now, you can copy all of your files or footage directly onto your SSD. However, if you're gonna to wanna to use a particular file, you're going to have to directly import it onto your iPad, um, which will take up space, meaning that you cannot like have a bunch of projects over open or save forever. You're going to have to purge your internal storage or your projects once in a while. And that's pretty common. You shouldn't be having like really old projects on your iPad anyway, but this might pose a problem if you are someone who needs to kind of refer back to other projects or use footage from previous projects that was like, you know, like previously edited to save time, which is what I do all the time with Final Cut Pro. Next up, let's import some photos off of my SD card to my external SSD. And I already have a folder here called Photos External. There are zero items in it as of right now. So let's go to my SD card and select the DCIM folder and let's pick out a couple here so it's loading. Let's pick one of my cat, my other cat, and then one of this MacBook and this external display here. That's a good photo. And then maybe scroll all the way down. I think I have some photos. Yeah, here we go. Here's one of this iPad case that I reviewed. Let's press move and then bring it to the SSD and then to photos and external and then press copy. And we'll give it a minute here. Okay, so it just did it. That took really, really quick. 
Let's go to Herman SSD. And we now have these photos on here. And that will bring us into Lightroom here. So let's open up this app and import some files here. So let's do from files. And then we can go to locations, press Herman SSD, go to photos external, and then we'll select all four of these and press open. So going to recently added, we now have these photos in here. Let's press the one of my cat because it's really cute. And then we can adjust the exposure like so and do all of our edits on here. And I do believe it was copied over to the internal iPad storage, which of course is once again, somewhat of a downside. But as we know, Adobe kind of works off the cloud. So this might be purged eventually. So you're not gonna have this on your internal storage always i think but once again i had the files on my sd card i copied it over to my ssd and if you want to get rid of them off your internal ipad storage you can definitely do so but the benefit is you'll have them all on here ready to go if you need to reference or use them again so now let's get to the straight up pros and cons the pros of having an external drive with your ipad pro is that it's cheaper you don't have to pay the apple tax to have more internal storage in your ipad and you can get a lot of storage for pretty cheap as we saw we can pay like 150 to get a terabyte of ssd space which is just amazing and considering the fact that a lot of one terabyte iPads cost well over $1,000. Another pro is that a lot of creative apps like Lightroom and LumaFusion can take advantage of the Files app and external storage as I just demoed here. But now to list the cons. The first being you cannot directly edit off of an SSD or an external SSD as of right now with iPad OS, like you can with a Mac or a Windows machine. So that means, again, I've said this, you have to copy the files off of your SSD onto your iPad Pro. Um, but the benefit is once again, you do have all of your files on here if you wanna purge them off of your internal storage. And the second and final con that I can think of while doing this is that an external driver SSD will draw power from your iPad Pro, which will make it drain a bit more quickly. So I do recommend recommend plugging in, although that's a little bit inconvenient, but with an adapter like this, I do have another USB type C port that I can plug into the wall. So that's a bit of an inconvenience. But of course, if you're doing any major heavy editing or tasks, you're probably going to want to be plugged in at some point anyway. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video demo and topic was helpful to you. I'm actually really impressed with what iPad Pro can do right now, but I'm really hoping that one day we can edit externally. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.